Most people will recognise TRI Lodge from the TV series Grand Designs, which follows a family and their journey to creating a Tuscan-inspired retreat and lodge. In this Junction film, we talk to Vince, Kathy, Nicola and Doug Moores about the skills and experiences they each bring to this amazing and luxurious retreat. We've been coming up here for over 30 years, um, visiting family and spending our summers here and, uh, and vacations. And uh, yeah, we fell in love with the area, and so we made a decision to, to come and live here. Um, 15 years ago, when we bought our land, a search that took us a few years to actually find the right piece of land. And I think it's just that, that, that mix of uh, the beautiful white sandy beaches, uh, the, the, the community, a really great community, a very close uh, network of, of friends we've developed very supportive of what we're doing here and also really enjoy supporting the local community with the produce, uh, with, with the, the artisan products, with the crafts, with the art, all these things here. Uh, it, it's part of our, I suppose, our, our environment. Uh, it's our home and uh, it's so lovely to be able to share that with other people from around the world and yet we're only, or well, now 15 from the Harbour Bridge, so quite a nice place to be. The first thing we did, this was a bare paddock, but we're surrounded by an historic podocarp forest. So that forest was here long before we were, um, and it's full um, with birds. So we decided that we wanted to regenerate that forest, and we've planted the whole periphery of the property before we even started building with flaxes and manuka and everything that the birds love so that we could regenerate the forest. And then slowly as we've got closer to the house, we've brought in edibles and fruit and vegetables and um, cut flowers and things like that. But um, also a, a value for me is we're building, we're having an impact on the environment with building the house. So to counterbalance that, I wanted to ensure that we were, were planting our fair share of um, native trees and and shrubs. We're way more in tune with what's going on in nature now that we're living here than we were in the city. Um, and also health and wellness is, is very important to me, so knowing where your food comes from and how you're treating your soil, um, it's really, really important. Uh, so we want to be as self-sufficient as we can, but we want to share the things that we're passionate about with others. One of the decisions we made very, very early on was to cover the roof in as many solar panels as we could so um, we can eventually be completely off the grid. And um, yeah, it, it's very, very re rewarding and um, we think we're heading in the right direction. Yeah. <laughs> To me what makes the lodge so special is having the family all working here together and being able to share all our gifts and talents and passions with uh, guests from around the world and locally and, uh, and this beautiful region we live in. Um, I think it's fantastic that we've got a good friends with their artwork on the walls and the ceramics and the cups are made by people we know in Matakana and all the food and produce. We're really connected with everyone who, who made the made the lodge and the experience reality. So there's four suites available. We've got two uh, premium luxurious suites on either side of the house, uh, the Qatari cottage and the, uh, the Kiru cottage and the Qatari suite. And they're all inspired by the birds. So the other two rooms are the Tui Mezzanine and the Moorpork Barn. And yeah, they're inspired by the birds, the nature, the scenery. I guess they really showcase our passion for all the details and, and, and 
travel and all the things we've picked up over the year, uh, years as a family. We're all connected by this beautiful communal space and the facilities and, uh, and a passion for food, wine, exercise and all the good things in life. So. So we've got a beautiful 22 metre saltwater pool and uh, in the tropical north that's well needed this time of year and um, I think so much of the food and enjoyments had after you've experienced moving or exercise or and so to have the pool there and so many great hikes and to come back and then in the evenings do the spa and the sauna and to be able to stretch and move in the yoga studio as well. It's just a wonderful compliment to all the other offerings, so it makes the wine taste that much sweeter. <laughs> Cool. So since I, since I can remember, I've had a passion for food. So dad was a chef and mum has always been a really keen foodie. So right from young age, I just remember sitting on the kitchen bench top, just baking with her and then kind of started getting into cooking when I first left home. And then I ended up studying like Italian gastronomy. So I went over to Italy and studied like the history of food and did my thesis over there in Italian. And then from there, I was working in the food industry in Paris for the French Embassy and then in Milan at the Universal Expo which was all on food and sustainability and then based myself in Scandinavia for a while where I got into like recipe development and working on some recipe books with Green Kitchen Stories. And then from there I just came home and worked as a recipe developer with Michael Meredith in Auckland for a while and then worked on some more books and then I've always had a big passion for kind of health and wellness as well so I started working at some wellness retreats around the world too. We're all about garden to table here. So mum, as you know, is a really, really keen gardener. So we're trying to grow as much as we can and it's really nice because we've got this little microclimate here. So there are things like little baby bananas and papaya that we can actually grow ourselves, which is pretty cool. So a lot of it comes from our garden or supplemented by our friends, Maddie and Sasha, who've got Tiari Organics and also all of our friends at the Matakana Markets. So all of our produce is yeah, well, it's all garden to table food that we like to create. So very simple, letting the beautiful ingredients, you know, the flavors of the beautiful ingredients kind of speak for themselves. Um, and yeah, putting, putting together sort of family style shared plates at dinner time. So we love kind of everyone coming together and bonding over food. So you'll find beautiful dishes made by Vicky from Frolic Ceramics filled with all this beautiful produce you know, cooked either outside on the barbecue or here with our steam oven or our beautiful um, traditional oven and then lots of different condiments and things and people just help themselves. So lots of yummy vegetables and then some organic roast rock chicken or some lion caught fish from Lee or you know, some grass fed beef. The food is definitely a high highlight um, and I think getting to know our family as well, like I think it's quite unique that we're a Kiwi family and we all work here together in the lodge and so people love to hear our story and dine with us. Um, obviously the setting, they absolutely rave about the setting and it's so peaceful with the bird song and the views of the native bush and out to the distant islands and along Tiare Beach. And the other thing is they love the details and I'm a real detail oriented person so and the rooms I've really like thought well I've tried to think about everything to provide that ultimate experience here yeah, like a luxurious but authentic experience for our guests. We, we really enjoy people coming to share uh, with what we've created and, uh, and also we, we do try and customize uh, each person's stay for what they want to do. Uh, obviously a, a honeymoon couple wants to have private dining, want to have the time alone uh, sometimes people want to have the family dining, come and share and, and join with the family. So we're very flexible with that and uh, are looking at really catering to what the needs are of our guests. And I suppose after you know, 35 years in the hospitality industry, you get a bit of a, an intuitive sense for that. And, and making people feel relaxed, that's a big thing. And, and so for us, because we enjoy our property, we're very proud of what we've got. You know, we, we do feel that there's a, a really nice ambiance. Uh, people feel very relaxed when they come here. And we more or less custom make people's stays for what it is that they want. So it's a unique experience for them. I guess if this message resonates with you, then it'd be, we'd, we'd love to host you. And you can find out more about our lodge on our website. And we're always trying to create wonderful new content and put it out on social media and just 
connect people with what we do and the experience and the offerings and all the great people in our community. And uh, we'd love to be able to share our home, Tiare Lodge, with as many people as possible.